Hello guys, hello guys. Welcome back to BST African Electronic Surgery. On Wednesday, 18 January 2023. So today we have something different. We do have this power pack from one of our customers from I think for some kind of um, decoders, things like that. Uh, the the power pack is not working and uh, here yeah, is outputting 15 volts 3 amps that's the output for this one and we don't have any new so that maybe we can uh, sell to the customer so the only way which we option which we have is to fix this so i don't know if it's fixable but we can try we can try so let's check few things i'll put the multimeter on a diode mode and we check minus and plus on the output for short i can't see any short let's come with the power supply the power supply is set on 10.3 volts around the 3.4 amps let's lower the current let's lower the current to 2 amps 1.9 let's come with power supply on the output taking like uh, 2-3 milliamps you stand by current and you don't have short on the output okay so let's see what can be the problem here let's plug in it's plugged and let's check what voltage do we have here yeah. minus minus plus we have like a 1.73 volts instead of 15 volts output okay so that's what we have to fix so let's see how we can open this Let's see. Let's see if we can open this. Maybe. We can fix this or not. Okay. So we are inside of our power pick. Okay, so let's check a few things. I'll put my test meter on diode mode and we want to test this this cable to see if our cable is right. Ground is okay on the plus so it's not the cable okay let's check the fuse 
and the fuse is good after the fuse we do have a rectifier bridge The rectifier bridge looks okay. What do we have? We do have a switching MOSFET. Switching MOSFET looks okay. So, what I want to do, I want to, the, to come with the long wires and the plug in. And the test from the the test of voltages. I'll, I'll come with the two wires. I'll solder live a neutral because the distance here, this distance from this connector to this, is too short to reach my my adapter. So I'll look for an extension wire and we'll check some voltage there. So I just finish soldering some wires. You can see these two wires on the on the input. So I'll plug in and we'll check some voltage there. It's on DC. So I want to go straight on the big capacitor. Check on the test meter 305. So, if our fuse is good, it means our problem is not on the high voltage area. So, I'll move my attention on the secondary part, you know. So, let, let's go under microscope one second and we'll see what's going on here. So we just finished checking and we found we do have voltage on the big capacitor, you know, 3400 something volts just after the rectifier. So let's go under a microscope and check some few things. I think I just seen the problem, but I want you to see what's going on here. Maybe we can see together. So you see here. You see, those are pins of the transformer on the secondary side. You can see some broken lines. This pin, second pin, third pin, and fourth pin. So I'm sure that's the problem here. Uh, all what we have to do is to resolder all those pins together and we'll see if that can solve the problem. So I'll resolder all those pins and then we'll see what's going on.
okay so I just finished the soldering all the pins all what is left is for us to test if we have anything now okay okay let, let's see now let's see now so what we discovered here yeah, we do have our sorry here yeah, we do have a, this is just a switching switching power supply nothing special so I checked the fuse is good rectifier is good switching MOSFET is good and you see this transformer the pins on the output all of them all of them were not a uh, will just move out of the socket so what I did I I resolder all the pins and um, I think we can we can test now to see if that is the problem or we can test for short on the output of the transformer I think that's a good thing keeping it together And here, you can see all the input two pins are together, and these two are together, but there's no connection between the primary stage of the transformer and the secondary. On the output, all four pins are together. So the transformer looks good. What you want to check now? Let's check for for minus and plus on the output. It's not like zero zero. So I think this we can test now. You can plug in the charger. Charger plugged. You see, check here. We have the green light. Let's check for output voltage. That's very important. I'll check straight on the. We still have a green light. I'll check on the output. Check on the test meter. Fourteen point three, which I believe is good. So our charger is working fine. So let's put all together in the retest again after. Let's put all together. I tried to resolder the, you see, the wires. I forgot it's plugged in and there was a big spark. Maybe I just killed the charger again. But let's see. Let's see. Maybe we are lucky. Let's see. It's plugged. So I'll plug in again on electricity and we check together again. Do you see? You can see on the screen.
14.5 so I'm sure it's working fine so yeah I know these are some kind of boring stuff but uh, that's what we have to fix so our, our public is fixed we'll give it to the customer you will test on the decoder so what can i say like subscribe and turn, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates and um, see you on the next one you know yeah to some countries i don't think the they have time to fix power pack you just go and buy another one but here we can't we are fixing even something like uh, cell phone chargers do you believe i will do a video one day so see you on the next one guys bye